Why were you at Ghost Mine? Oh, no, maybe. That's maybe just you. my personal choice because it's a really good spell. And oh. it seems like within bed. Sorry, of sorry you're, a, you're a little. You're about Dan? 10 seconds late. People are still trying to level up to level 14. Uh, Dan's trying to figure out a spell. And we had a snap through last time. Yeah. No. So we recorded the entire episode. The next day I went to go and do a little bit of editing on it. It only captured 20 minutes. Which was 20 minutes of us just rambling. At the chat. What a shame. Uh, and what do you mean you were going to edit it? Barry was going to edit it. Yes. <laughs> Barry, Barry. Is a, Barry's the... Barry died. Barry. No! God is dead. <laughs> God is dead. Barry. So as a quick recap, uh, the fight with Alara started and ended almost as soon as it began. Partly due to a misplay on my part with her getting stunned, thanks to this guy. He yeah, never should have come here. He never should have come here. <laughs> and probably due to a nat 20 on the mortal part from that guy. I knocked her to her feet, literally just went, knock her feet. This is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. Uh, and after that, they managed to find an old wizard who knew a ritual to destroy the phylactery. And Trace had teleported their way back to where Alara had come from. Met some goons and the soulmonger. I think, was it you who went invisible and climbed the wall? Or was it him or somebody did? Uh, it was... Yeah, I climbed the wall. I don't, you you I were pouring napalm on the struts. After, yeah, first first you sliced open the tubes, and then you started pouring napalm on the struts. And I didn't go... I don't, no, I didn't go invisible. That's right, I can go invisible now. I forgot through it. That was a whole thing. Um, yeah, no, I was going invisible. Spider-Man crawled up there and just... I'm just going to melt some beams with some napalm real quick. I don't want to... I want to take away. But unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Orcs' lieutenant decomposed, was still freed, and teleported away. You guys made your way to the nearby city with, to the nearby city with the help of a dwarf merchant, and teleported your way back home, where Ved decided, for at least a short time anyway, to part ways to go off by himself for a little bit. And That's we're going so And we're going to pick up about two weeks after that. What are you guys planning to do now? Uh, uh, shit, sorry, I am trying to do this. <laughs> Fun stuff. So, well, Carlos was visiting his family as far as we left off. That I yeah. will go back to my house and bond with my Warple Sword. Bond with your Warple Sword? Just sit there and just lovingly, uh, well, the Melodic Knight, you can do that. Yes. I know. I know, I just sit here just talk with it. it no, you know, you know like how in Star Wars, Boba Fett's always carrying his rifle like a baby? You know, I don't think I ever noticed that, but uh, check into that. I've never seen a Star Wars movie that had Boba Fett in it. I've never actually seen a full Star No, I've seen one full Star Wars movie, and, or two end, which was uh, Rogue One. I've seen all the Star Wars movies, except for the... Except the bad ones. The newer the last ones. Jedi. I did not miss it much. Anyway... So, you're bonding with your weapon, you went back to the bar, I guess? You? No, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I'm back at the bar, kind of just relaxing, uh, spending the quality time with my family. <laughs> your daughter's just net. Your daughter, first thing you said when you, she said when you walked through the door was, Did you beat him up? Sorry. Yes, Yay! Ah. Dad's over there doing jazz hands. Oh, there we go. Hey, what's Ben doing in these two weeks? So, <clears throat> I. Since I have this in my original list, I might save men Mental Prison for later. Um. Uh, Ved is going to picking going to be picking up a spell called Plane Shift, and it's funny you mention that because if you'll recall, before you went off to ch chase down Slenderman, Alara had a scroll of Plane Shift sent to her by an by an anonymous source. That's right. So as you're digging around, 
would you go back to the shop or? Uh, yes, because that's where where he's. As you're digging now. around, you <clears throat> find that scroll. <laughs> doesn't have a doesn't have a name on it. it. Just says, "Hope you find it useful." Yes, that's interesting. Um, he might hang on to that. Uh, of course, as you know, sorcerers don't necessarily learn spells from from scrolls, but he can hang on to it, I guess. Um, put that in here. Scroll plane shifting. I mean, that can stop you from working out plane shifting or spell list anyway, so. What? What? The fifth. Okay, now we're putting that one. The power of you can't touch me intensifies. Why? Level the eleven level eleven touch open hand uh, feature tranquility. At the end of my long rest now, I gain the effects of the sanctuary spell until either I break the effect or my next long rest. So you can't be touched. Until I either swing, cast a spell at some that targets an enemy, or um yeah, pretty, pretty much unless I hit something. And if they yeah, if you try they try to swing at me, they have to make a wisdom save against me, which for that, oh yeah, no, that that's gonna be a eighteen to smack me for a wisdom save from now on. It's like passive mode in GTA. Well, well shit. Yeah, it, it's it, it's kind of like it's something meant for like paladins and uh, especially like redemption paladins, where you want to protect somebody. It make this allows me now to get to the thick of the enemy group before I start uh, without being touched and then unleash the power. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here's, here's what you do. You cast it on yourself, walk into the enemy camp, singing the troll song, <laughs> and as they try to hit you, they can't, and they end up taking the damage. And you're just sitting there like, ha ha ha. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's, at, it's passively active on, from long rest, so... <laughs> But still, technically speaking, right now it's active. Yeah, but still. Just so, anyway, back to this. Yes. Already get to All right. So what? So what else does everyone do in the next two weeks? So, um, I think Ved would first of all uh, want to learn uh, uh, <clears throat> over the two weeks. He would like to. Would it be possible for him to go around learning the sigil sequences of... Wait a minute, let me see here. Yeah. Yeah. So... Hold on. Let me take... Let me look, look here. Um, to another plane... Turn into the, if you know the sigil sequence of a teleportation circle... Uh, To learn the, the uh, sigil sequences of various uh, teleportation circles that he has been to, so perhaps the one, the what if there is, if it wouldn't cost him too much in order to travel, I don't remember if it cost us anything to be using these teleportation circles. So far, no, you've been using them pretty much great. Okay. I think he would look into whether or not he could First, learn learn the uh, study the uh, sigils of the teleportation circles throughout. Uh, well, what he knows of to exist of Orbis, um, so that he might be able to use them with his uh, plane shift spell, because that is the spell that he's going to be taking this level. Yeah, there's a uh, quite a number of them, and it will take. Let's see here. Because uh, he doesn't necessarily have to learn them so much as, like, see each one and then write it down, and then he can focus on memorizing them. Uh, writing them down is no problem, but it'll take about, on a roll of a d4, a roll of two, so that'll be about two days each to write it down and memorize. Okay. How many are there? Uh, I need to find where I mark Put my map again. again. Uh, yeah, that's fun. No. Let's see here. Mm. 
right, so there's four that you know of. Okay. Well, five, if you want to count this one. Yes, yeah, so I think I'd l like to count the, the one the one that is in the town that we are in. <laughs> you said it's two days to memorize? Yeah. So I count out 30 cities here on my map. Mm -hmm. um, in those cities, <laughs> you can learn the location of, including the five that you know, seven. What about just, uh, I mean, finding finding out about them? Like, Well, that, you can just look at that up in a book. Okay, so, okay. So, maybe, okay, so, how many are there in total? I counted on the map, 30 cities. Okay, 30 cities around orbit. Okay. Alright, and... During some of this time, if any of you uh, visit... Well, actually, no. Let's make that 29, because Zombie City is inaccessible anymore. Right, right. And the Umbrella Corporation. Wouldn't would, would, would that, would that mean that they had to erase the teleportation circle, then? I mean, you could still I hadn't actually still thought about that. You could, you could still, still go, go there. there, but it's kind of off limits. Yes. I, I, uh, it's called Popeon. It was it one was, of the first ones that they went to before they met him. Yep. Uh, basically, that's where they found the one of Orcus. Yeah, the, the necromatic fuck who uh, need to get pushed in. Yes. Um, Alright. Uh... And if any any of the party decides to visit him, let let's perhaps recant him. Like they didn't see this last yeah. time. Let's recant the uh, the whole retirement deal and like leave. As far as you guys know, Ved ran off somewhere to be by himself for a, who knows how long. Typical man. Uh, okay, are we? If they were not doing the whole retirement speech, we're just walking that back. Right. Okay. And Ved, Ved is going to be, uh, I mean, you might see him out and about a little bit, like, walking the dog, but I don't know. Um, if any, any of you has any business with him, he might, uh, he might ask you something. Um, I think Carlos message is going to be staying at the bar, kind of just running things. He is going to put up a couple things about, uh, trying to kind of get the word around that he may be interested in hiring one, a, anyone who's willing to do some adventuring. Uh, speaking of which, I do have another person possible. I gotta wait and see what happens. Okay, uh, well. If he's available, he'll be able to join in the next session. Okay. Okay. Who? Uh, Tyler. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, current job is trying to run him to the Altoona one, and it sounds like they're rent, the Altoona rent is closed Monday, Tuesday, so it'll have to be free. Alright. Alright. Yeah, so I'm just going to go around kind of getting some new contact with the merchants, kind of drop, making it known, and I'll probably nail a couple posters of, like, adventurers wanted. Okay. Just start kind of screening people with any offers. <coughs> Look for someone who we can trust to an extent. You tell Link guys. Huh? You better tell Link guys you He did. Carlos told you uh, that back, uh, on the way back there, that he was going to try and see about getting on another person, because he doesn't, Carlos does not like Carlos likes having a four-man party. He does not like the fact we're still down the lake. Well, you better bet your ass. I guess he's going to want to help the people. Oh, uh, Carlos is more than willing to let you. Heck, this is something we talked about on the carriage ride, so I imagine that it would even come up. Can you imagine just, like, all three of us on a castle just watching idiots, like... Are you the master adventurer? 
<laughs> Welcome to Master Chef. Did you think wizard hat waving around the stage like, yeah, uh, and I'm just like, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it, your spell casting is fucking raw. <laughs> Where's the magic is on? Where's the magic <laughs> Where's the counter spell? <laughs> Your transmutation was there. Well, well, over the next few days, you just get a few people who may be interested. Where's the lint scott? The will be willing to entertain <laughs> interviews, and he'll probably try to get a message off to Pink Eyes. Let him know whenever he schedules them up. So I think I can signal him on to it as well. Better, better to do. I've already bought them with my weapon. I'll be there. You've already sit there and crustily polish the gems on it. What I do. What you do to that sand? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um. <laughs> Fishy, fishy business aside, uh. I would say after the first. I would say, like, it would take him perhaps the first day to find out about, um. Uh, okay, what are all of the. What are all of. Like, all of the sequences that he has to memorize. Okay. And I think he would spend four days memorizing two of them. Okay. 